I'm driving. Okay, so I just got a message in my uh, Instagram and somebody wanted me to talk on, um, how do I know who's the right employee to pick? No, what did she say? How do I decipher? Yeah, that's the word. Decipher, okay, the right employee. So first of all, I let my assistant go through my Indeed and my Craigslist account. I let her go through it and she'll pick the, the qualified candidates for me, right? So, cause if I'm doing it, I just, I really, I don't even read nothing no more. I just, I just pick random people and whoever shows up to the interview, I interview them. That's what I do. Cause I ain't got time for all that. But she will go through, pick through all the lists. And if it says they're a housekeeper or they used to clean Airbnbs or they had any kind of experience in what we do, those are the people she go after. Okay. Now, when they show up to the interview, if they show up, okay, because lately we've been dealing with a lot of a lot of clowns, man. They they show up to the interview. It's like I don't know. The world is changing because it's getting worse and worse and worse. People want money, but they don't want to really work for it. Okay, they don't really want to work. They don't really want to clean for it. And not only that, but people lie so much. They lie so bad at these interviews. It's it's laughable. You know, and I'm to the point where I can see through a lot of bullshit before my assistant can see through it. Okay, I can see through the bullshit before it even comes. I'm, I'm like, mm -hmm. so I'm, I'm asking all the right questions. You know, um, have what, what type of experience do you have? Have you ever cleaned Airbnbs before? Have you ever cleaned move in, move outs before? Like, and if they say yeah, yeah, okay, well, explain to me the. Um, the protocol explain to me like what, what you do when you first go in and I can kind of tell by the answer if they say yeah they've done it before okay well explain to me how you do it yeah I just you know a lot of times um, sometimes they can explain it to you but if they can't really explain it to you the right way like if you've done Airbnbs you know you got to strip those beds and you got to start your washing machine like that's number one you gotta start, especially if you gotta do the sheets. Okay, so that lets me know that a person has a little bit of experience in it, in Airbnbs, you know? And I wanna know about your background, where you used to work at, why didn't it work out at the last cleaning company you were at, those type of things. I also like to ask questions like, um, did the, were you an independent contractor with the other employee, with the other cleaning company? Were you an employee? Um, how are you getting paid? You know, I'm nosy. I want to know. So I ask all those questions and it helps me figure out. And then like sometimes if I have people like um, I just interviewed some this, this young lady and she was like talking real, real reckless about her last cleaning company that she worked with. So those are like red flags to me. Because if you talking reckless to me about the last cleaning company, then if this shit don't work out, <laughs> you gonna talk reckless about my company to somebody else. So, you know, that's a red flag to me. And if you all in the interview, and she did this, and she wasn't paying us right, and da 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 Like, I was like, oh, okay. And I'll dig a little deeper, like, well, how, how much were you getting paid? Were you getting paid by the hour, by the unit? You know, and um, it's always two sides to the story because I don't know whether that person was doing their job. Did you not get paid because you didn't do your job? Were you, because see, listen, if you were an independent contractor, it's, it's totally different. Me, I'm a company. If I don't do my job, guess what? Guess what's gonna happen? I'm not gonna get paid for it, okay? I got clients, I haven't got paid for jobs before. It's happened before. You know, they say, listen, I'm not paying for this crappy job. You know what I mean? So I haven't got, got paid for jobs as a company before. You know, and same thing with independent contractors. You do a crappy ass job, you know, you can take deductions out of it. So did, did baby girl take deductions away from you guys because you didn't do a good job? I need to know both sides of the story is all I'm saying. You know, don't just go crapping on another cleaning company or whatnot. That don't fit good with me, okay? So another thing that I look for is, of course,
course, when you come into my office, I'm looking, I'm looking at your dress code. You know, some people, when they come in, they are not dressed for the occasion. They look like they just woke up out of bed and came to an interview. That's one, that's, that's a strike for me because if you came to the interview like that, then you're gonna show up to my Airbnbs and you're gonna show up to my move outs looking like that and the client's gonna see you look like that. So, you know, your people, whoever you're, you gotta realize that we have to duplicate ourselves as business owners, you know, and you gotta watch who you put in your your place okay so i look at i look at that i look at your dress code and whether you even paid attention or even tried to look presentable okay um i've had people come to the to interview with you know <laughs> i mean they just they just smelled like they just was 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 smoking weed on the on the ride you know, just kind of just like they didn't really care. You know, so I pay attention to all those type of things. You didn't comb your hair for the interview or nothing. You, just, you didn't even try. Those are the things that are very obvious to me that I pay attention to. Okay, so that those are strikes. Another thing that I pay attention to is I'm very, very, very attracted to people that are motiv motivated like me. You know, highly driven people. You know, if you're interacting to my conversation and you're like, yeah, and like you, you sound like you really want the job and you are, um, you have like a, a uplifting spirit about yourself. You know, those people, I, lo I love those type of people. You, you gotta, you gotta win-win with me. Um, sometimes people come in the office, they don't have no drive at all. I don't even know why they came. You know, and we do phone interviews as well. So over the phone, if you sound all dry over the phone and you sound like, uh, yeah, I'm still interested in the cleaning position. Yeah, how much, how, how much y'all paying? How much y'all paying? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I still want to clean. Yeah. <laughs> this is stuff we gotta deal with, you know. And it be like, man, please don't waste my time. Please don't waste my time. And it's, it's only getting harder and harder as the years go by. It's 2021 now. And cleaning is not a sexy industry at all, you know. Don't nobody really want to, nobody's thrilled to be a cleaning uh, technician. You know, nobody's proud of that. So that's why one of the things I like to do is hire independent contractors, start up cleaning companies, and help them grow their cleaning business. And they can start off with us contracting work out to you, and they can um, learn from experience. A lot of times you can come in with no experience in cleaning and just have that willpower, you know, to eventually be able to grow your own cleaning company because we've helped people grow their own business through us okay so back in the day I remember working for people and them giving us like a 10 cent raise or a dollar raise and like that really was going to make a difference back then we thought that it would make a difference okay because we was green but I didn't never want to be a company like that to give somebody oh here's a dollar raise here you go like that really was going to do something I wanted to be able to provide a company that will really be like a lifestyle changing uh, company for someone. Like you can come in here, you can get the experience, you can get motivated, you can get inspired by me or my assistant or anybody around you or the other cleaning companies around you, anybody, you know, and get that motivation to start your own business and spread your wings. That's what it's all about, okay? Um, then once you spread your wings, you can buy leads from Tenacity Academy, okay? So it don't stop. Like, we're really trying to empower all our community, okay? That's what we're really, that's, that's what this whole thing is about, okay? It's not all about hiring people and keeping the chain on, keeping keep you on lockdown and being, uh, living, you know, this rat race, being on the rat race, uh, of paycheck to paycheck. No, we're really trying to help people build their own businesses, build their own cleaning company and spread their wings, okay? So, anyway, that's my time, okay?
okay make sure you guys comment down below make sure you guys are following me on instagram because i need to grow my instagram page make sure you guys are subscribing to my channel okay and leave some comments down below man what are some of the things that you look for when you are interviewing your employees or if you're on board trying to onboard some new contractors what are some of the things you look for in these people okay comment down below let the world know until next time